Hey everyone, do you have an older computer collecting dust? Maybe it can't run Windows 11 or you're just not ready to upgrade yet? Well, before you decide to toss it out, I've got five lightweight Linux distributions that can transform that aging machine into a fast, dependable workstation. Let's dive in. First on our list is Linux Lite. Based on Ubuntu LTS, Linux Lite uses the XFCE desktop to balance performance with a familiar user interface. From installation, you get essential apps like Chrome, LibreOffice for all your documents, GIMP for image editing, VLC for media playback, and TimeShift for creating system restore points. If you need more, the Synaptic Package Manager lets you browse thousands of packages with ease. Linux Lite's minimum requirements are just a 1 GHz CPU, 1 GB of RAM, and 8 GB of disk space. Best part, it's completely free and maintained with security updates for years. Installing extra software is as simple as a few clicks, no terminal required. Next up, AntiX. This one's tailored for people who don't mind getting their hands a bit dirty in Linux. It leverages the ZFM IcedWim window manager, offering lightning fast performance on even 10 year old hardware. Out of the box, you'll find Firefox, LibreOffice, FireJail for sandboxing, and a host of lightweight media players. AntiX requires an Intel Core 2 Duo or AMD Athlon. 64x2 CPU, at least 1 gigabyte of RAM and 10 gigabytes of storage. If you enjoy customizing your desktop environment and appreciate a raw speed, AntiX is a perfect match. Number three is Bodhi Linux, featuring the Moksha desktop, a sleek fork of enlightenment. What sets Bodhi apart is its lightweight footprint combined with a highly customizable right-click desktop menu. No cluttered panels, just right-click anywhere to launch applications, adjust settings, or open a terminal. It ships with minimal pre-installed software, leaving you free to add only what you need. System requirements are astonishingly low. 1 gigahertz CPU, 768 megabytes of RAM, and 10 gigabytes of disk space. And check out these community-created themes. You can go from minimal to visually stunning in seconds. Fourth on our list is uh, Bunsen Labs, the spiritual successor to Crunchbang Linux. Based on Debian, it uses the open box window manager, a Tint2 panel, Conkey for system monitoring, and JG menu for a streamlined launcher. The result is a distro that feels modern yet runs incredibly light. It's intuitive enough for beginners and powerful for advanced users. You'll need a 1 GHz CPU, 2 GB of RAM, and about 20 GB of storage. Boot times are quick, and once you're in, you've got full control over every aspect of your desktop. Last but not least, Lubuntu. As an official Ubuntu flavor, Lubuntu uses the LXQT desktop, which combines speed with the Windows-like interface that's easy to pick up. You retain Snap package support, a stable Ubuntu kernel, and almost unlimited access to software from the Ubuntu repositories. Lubuntu's requirements are minimal, a 1 GHz CPU, 1 GB of RAM, and just 5 GB of disk space. Even with those modest specs, you will experience fast boot times and smooth multitasking. Installing popular apps like Spotify or Slack is straightforward thanks to the Discover Software Center. So there you have it. Five lightweight Linux distributions ready to give your old PC a second life. To recap, Linux Lite for an all-in-one user-friendly experience, Anti-X for maximum performance on minimal hardware, Bodhi Linux for a unique right-click driven desktop, Bunsen Labs for a sleek Debian-based setup, Lubuntu for Ubuntu compatibility with a lightweight footprint. Pick the one that best fits your needs and head over to their official sites to download the ISO. If you're new to Linux, start with Linux Lite or Lubuntu. If you love tinkering, give Antix or Bunsen Labs a try. And if you want something truly different, Bodhi awaits. Let me know which distro you choose and how it breathes new life into your old machine. Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button if you learned something new, and subscribe for more tech makeovers. I'll see you in the next video.